Hello everyone. Today we are going to continue the Vedic Civilization Part Three, Page Number Eighteen. Religious Ideas. Four point four. Religious Ideas. In the religious ideas of the Vedic period, forces of nature such as the sun, wind, rain, lightning storms, and rivers. were given the form of deities the people used to pray to the that is this force of nature like sun wind now so today also people they pray to sun the for the water as well as they pray to wind rain lightning storms rivers they were in the form of deities in the form of gods Vedic compositions pray them to become life-giving forces. Due to this Vedic composition, they pray to become this life by giving some forces for us. The Vedic people put offerings into yajna, fire to please them. The people used to put some offerings into that yajna to please the fire to help them out in all the difficulties. These offerings were called as havi. when they put those offerings those offerings are called as havi yatna is the act of offering havi into the fire yatna is an offering that is called as havi which is put into the fire initially yatna rites was simple that time these yatna were very simple later on the rules of yatna became harder and harder after that the yagya rules became some tough The importance of priest went on increasing. Just see the saint now, how he's doing. The saint is sitting over there and he's doing some pujas by saying some mantras, some shlokas. People in the Vedic period had thought about how the natural phenomena occur. People in the Vedic period thought that how the natural calamities occur. That is sun, rain, wind. summer is followed by the rainy season and the rainy season by winter first comes summer season the rainy season then after that it comes by winter season now rainy season has started after that winter season will come this is a regular cycle in nature the cycle in nature and the life cycle that moved with it were termed by the vedic people as rita this cycle which goes on It is termed by the Vedic people known as Rita. The life of all living beings is a part of the cycle in the nature. This life is a part of the cycle in this nature. Disturbance in the cycle of nature leads to calamities. Now, if any disturbance is there in a lifestyle, this leads to difficulties, calamities. Everyone should be careful not to let it happen. everyone should be careful that not a single mistake should be happen by us nobody should break the laws of nature they should not destroy the nature it was believed that following these rules was to follow dharma it was said that when we follow these rules that means we are following the dharm okay let's discuss what could be the causes that upset the cycle of nature what attempts can you make to avoid it for example what will you do for effective management of drinking water when there is scanty rainfall when there is very less rainfall what will happen next 4.5 political system in the vedic period each village had head known as brahmani now that time each village had a head and it was called as brahmani a group of villages form a wish they form a wish and the, whose head was called as vishpati the main person of that wish is called as a vishpati several wish form a jana then this wish they form a jana later when the jana settled into a specific region 
it came to be known as janapad when this janas settles down the state one place that time it is called as janapad the head of the jana was known as nripa or raja that is the king the head of the janapad or jana is known as or it is called as nripa or raja or king the main duties of the king were to protect the people collect taxes and run the administration efficiently means very smoothly what is the duties of the king to look after the people to protect the people collect the taxes and to look after the administration very well or run the administration very smoothly in order to run the administration smoothly the king appointed various officers different officers were appointed to run the administration the purohit that is the priest and the senapati of the army were officers of special importance now the purohit that is the priest as well as the senapati of the army they are of the special importance they are given special importance in all the work the officer who collected the taxes was known as bahadu bahadu is the person who collects the taxes bhag means share and the person who collected the king share of the produce of a jana was called as bhagdu there were four institutions who guided the king which are those four institution that is the sabha samiti vidhat and jana these are the four institutions who guides the king the people of the state participated in the working the people from the state they participate in the work women too participated in the working of sabha and vidhat women also participated in the working that is of sabha as vidhat and vidhat the sabha consisted of senior citizens senior means the older ones that is above 60 of the state whereas the samiti was a general body of the people samiti was for the general people general body people later on in the vedic thought smriti and puranas were composed later in the vedic books smriti and puranas were composed were written after a period of time the religious stream based on the vedas smritis puranas and local traditions came to be known as hinduism all these traditions came to be known as hinduism that is the vedas smritis puranas along with the vedic stream there were other religious streams which took a different position from the vedic one along with the vedic stream vedic people there were other religions or religious streams you can see which took a different place position from the vedic one regarding yajna rites and the varna system we will learn more about them in the next chapter so my dear children read the chapter once again go through it as well as i'll give you some notes and homeworks you have to solve that in your notebook thank you have a great